Ever expanding list of target compound has been a major challenge for us. As a reference lab, we are supposed to screen for unknown compounds, even for compounds for which MRL has not been established in India. As a reference lab, we are supposed to analyze import samples also coming from countries where pesticides or other, contamin other uh, antibiotics or veterinary drugs are registered for which uh, in India we don't have methods or MRL. So the list is ever increasing and we have to uh, create a target list which is uh, equivalent to international level. For this we have to develop a lot of multi-residue methods. Multi-residue method development has been a challenging task for when you are doing uh, analysis for hundreds of samples. That time maintaining sensitivity for all the compounds and peak shape for all the compounds over longer time is a huge challenge. Polarity switching has been a uh, major challenge. When you are analyzing a group of compounds which are amenable to negative ion mode, in that case you have to usually the practice is that you will be running a separate batch uh, of analysis in your LCMS. But uh, polarity switching with polarity switching which is actually practically possible in lab demonstrable can save lot of time in that case. Other than this, uh, analysis of pyrethroids has been a problem in GCMS because over longer run the matrix effect takes over and uh, the peak shape uh, goes haywire. So with the recent advancement of LCMS, maybe pyrethroids and related compounds can be analyzed in LCMS or using APCI LCMS. Multi-residue analysis of antibiotics is a need of the hour and the major challenge. Uh, FSSI as well as AOAC International, uh, they have called for multi-residue methods uh, for antibiotics. Earlier we used to analyze tetracyclines, quinolones, uh, penicillin groups separately. But here to save time and increase throughput and uh, uh, to uh, to have economical analysis if I may say uh, we should have multi-residue methods for antibiotics as well and that is a major challenging task because they are structurally drivers and uh, uh, some compounds are highly polar some compounds are non-polar so it is a very challenging task to develop antibiotic residue methods uh, multi antibiotic multi-residue methods Thankfully, the QSite LCMSMS has a very uh, comprehensive library of contaminants uh, including pesticide, antibiotics, endocrine disruptors and even vitamins and other uh, important compounds. So you can straightforward take those compounds from that library and develop your method within a few uh, minutes. That, that, will, that is a very straightforward approach even if you have to uh, optimize your compound if it is an entirely new compound the optimization procedure is pretty straightforward and assisted so optimization also is a very very straightforward and high throughput uh, activity in the QSite LCM SMS uh, here thankfully again we have a ESI probe separately and APCI probe separately in the ion source in most of the conventional uh, ion sources what we have observed that the ESI probe needs to be removed to put the APCI probe. To, uh, this, this becomes a bottleneck for uh, average user and most of the cases what we have observed that the user will avoid using APCI for this issue for removing ESI and putting back the APCI ion source. So here thankfully we have separate ESI and APCI ion source and APCI is also a wonderful technology which can be uh, explored and used for com many GC aminable compounds for which there are problems of matrix effect. So that way it was a great help and the polarity switching actually is a reality in uh, QSite LCM SMS. Here uh, we developed a multi-residue method for hundreds of pesticides together and here uh, we had a quite comprehensive batch of compounds which were amenable to uh, negative ionization mode. So in a single run we could quantify both the positive and the negative uh, ionization amenable compounds. So this is a uh, great advantage which improves throughput and uh, solves many of our problems. Fisheries matrices are one of the challenges, challenging matrices which I have come across, especially the fatty fishes. So they look clean 
Apparently in the extract, they don't have much of color, but they have a lot of lipids and phospholipids, which over time tend to accumulate into your column and the iron source and uh, impacts the sensitivity and peak shape of your analytes. So this has been, uh, even with uh, uh, very rugged cleanup, we have faced problem with fish matrix and also uh, the fish feed or even animal feed matrix. Animal feed matrix has component from fish meal and as well as components from plant proteins and oils. So it is a highly complex matrix. At the moment we are running a project to develop multi-residue uh, method for analysis of antibiotics and pesticide in feed and it is a huge challenging task because the extract has high amount of co-extractive even after thorough cleanup. Third uh, commodity which I like to tell is the seaweed. Seaweeds are now lot of uh, gaining lot of importance because of their nutritional and nutraceutical values and quality control of seaweed over long term will, will be gaining momentum. So this is a emerging matrix in which we are developing, uh, developing methods. Uh, this matrix is highly pigmented and this also has some amount of uh, fats. So this is again a very challenging matrix. Other than fisheries matrices, uh, matrices like uh, spices and oleoresin is highly challenging. I don't have direct experience on working with those matrices, but I have worked with my collaborators. And also another challenging matrix in which QSite instrument has very high success is the cannabis matrix. India is a major exporter of shrimp to USA and as well as in European Union. At the moment, the export is facing high challenge because the European Union has started uh, checking 50% of the consignments. The increase in that uh, testing rate has led to more rejection of our uh, shrimp consignment. The problem is that in India, there is uh, no uh, authorized or regulatory uh, notified package of practices for aquaculture. So this often uh, tempts the aquaculture farmer to use veterinary drugs in their uh, aquaculture practices. So thankfully uh, FSSI has come out with a very uh, thorough and uh, comprehensive list of regulation on antibiotics and some of the MRL values are more stringent compared to the international standards. But this uh, this uh, gives us a uh, analytical challenge to achieve such MRL, such low level of MRLs in our analytical methods. Productivity has been an issue for a busy lab like us for quite some time because we analyze a diverse range of uh, samples from different important customers including the regulators and we have pressure to give result in a time bound manner. Here what we have observed that the LCMS instrumentation need uh, daily or weekly cleaning of the iron source and uh, even with the best kind of cleanup the iron source gets dirty pretty fast and that in turn impacts the sensitivity and peak shape. So to maintain uh, long, st long term stability of the peak shape and uh, the sensitivity uh, we need technology which will be more stable and uh, more uh, 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 high throughput if I may say. Uh, in that way QSight has been uh, a major success and we were pleasantly surprised that even after uh, use of six months though when the iron source was very very dirty uh, the instrument was maintaining excellent peak shape and sensitivity. So with this extra time maybe uh, we can do many other research and we can increase the throughput of the lab and uh, we can also raise to the challenges of giving our result in time as a reference lab. The Simplicity 3Q software in my opinion is very simple to use and uh, truly justifies its name Simplicity. It has a tab based workflow starting from uh, the home, then uh, developing method, developing the LC method, developing uh, acquisition method, processing method. So even if even a novice, novice user can pick up the software pretty fast. Uh, setting up a method is pretty straightforward. They have a comprehensive library from that you can straightforward, you can 
choose the uh, target analytes and make a method fast or even if you have to tune the compounds the tuning is also assisted and uh, you have a auto tune option which will assist you during the tuning process and making the method after that giving result uh, in a regulatory framework is also easy because here you have inbuilt features quality control features like uh, iron ratio and uh, the qualifier and quantifier ions and also the relative standard deviation so and uh, the result table flags inconsistent result uh, with a color code so you can easily identify that which which result or which sample is uh, lacking the regulatory standard so it is pretty uh, straightforward to review your result from the result table and uh, the processing data the uh, uh, optimi uh, the integration of your uh, peaks and uh, is also pretty uh, straightforward and uh, the algorithm is pretty advanced even when uh, if you uh, want to remove the noise or the smoothening of the peaks all are uh, pretty straightforward and intuitive in nature so in that way i feel that simplicity is a complete uh, software package and uh, it is also compatible with recent regulatory requirements When uh, Perkin Elmer approached us for this collaboration, we were a bit apprehensive because at that moment we had two LCMSMS already in our lab and we were pretty apprehensive about the lab space it will occupy. But when they shared more details about the instrument, we were pleasantly surprised. The design elements were very sleek and we observed that the instrument will not take much of our lab space and will integrate into our system effortlessly. Practically, if we have a uh, gas connection from a central source, you can uh, accommodate the instrument and the LC within a space of four feet. That is a great, uh, uh, great design uh, uh, marvel, I can say. And uh, it is a floor standing model, so you don't require a vibration free uh, table and it has wheels, so it is easy to move around. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, move your instrument for a different place it will be much easier to do that then again uh, the ion source is unique it has one ESI probe and one APCI probe separately uh, fixed into the ion source that is a great advantage uh, so many average lab have heard using APCI ion source because of the hassles of changing the ion source from ESI to APCI here you don't have that and here this technology of this ion source is a new unique technology here you use laminar flow uh, gas flux to push the ions inside the mass spectrometer rather than using axial voltage to push the ions inside the mass spectrometer the advantage is that even when the instrument is dirty it maintains excellent sensitivity and peak shape because unlike other traditional mass spectrometer uh, it do not get influenced by the small surface charges in the ion optics when the ion optics gets dirty so uh, uh, throughput has been a uh, very uh, higher throughput has been a very pleasing and uh, pleasing experience with this instrument again uh, Polarity switching has been has been a reality in this instrument. Uh, many vendors claim polarity switching, but when in practical application, with when working with hundreds of pesticide, uh, we were forced to run two different batches for negative polarity and positive polarity. But here, practically, actually, we could achieve polarity switching for, in a multi-residue method, which comprises more than 130 pesticides. This is due to the unique design of the detector which don't need high voltage polarity switching. The front end HPLC is also pretty rugged and it has inbuilt features uh, for column and HPLC equilibration and you don't have to manually open any knob or any valve for parching the instrument. So overall uh, it has been a pleasing, instru uh, pleasing uh, experience with the QSight instrument and uh, uh, the software also it is pretty uh, straightforward software intuitive software even a novice can pick up the software pretty uh, fast maybe within a period of few days because it follows a tab based workflow which is sequential and uh, by simply checking the tabs you can probably go uh, go from setting up of your method to uh, giving your result and also reviewing your result as a as an expert can do 
because the result table is easy to review color coded and you can easily uh, get the uh, flags for non-compliant sample or uh, results which are not up to the mark uh, by easily checking on the color codes and it incorporates all the regulatory parameters that of uh, uh, iron ratio uh, qualitative iron quali quantifier iron qualifier iron uh, reproducibility repeatability etc so that way it has been a uh, pretty simple software and overall uh, my experience with this particular experience uh, instrument has been very pleasing so far